Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Polio Jr. and this is going to be an extremely quick video um, and it's just me advocating um, a web browser called Midori and uh, Midori actually means green in, uh, in Japanese um, but regardless um, I am actually doing this review because I had uh, Midori about two years ago using it as a lightweight fast and free web browser and two years ago it was not uh, what it was uh, advocated to be uh, or not what it was advertised to be and since then I've decided to come back and check it out and they are exactly what they say they are now so um, the biggest thing so I'm actually in Midori right now um, and it's Midori dash browser dot org and obviously you would just go to download and so you can actually the cool thing with this is you can actually install it into your programs list or you can have a supportable version in which you don't have to install it you can just open it directly and it'll just save everything in one little folder um, it doesn't look like it's designed for Mac but the one big thing that I do like about it is that it has it is open source so you are capable of um, of editing this software as you please uh, to I mean as long as you have the experience as far as, as far as working on um, different kinds of scripts and coding and so forth uh, that's what's really nice about open source but um, so the biggest things we're gonna, I'm gonna go over so it definitely is a lightweight browser um, testing it against Chrome Internet Explorer Firefox and all that good stuff um, it handles everything very well. Uh, handles YouTube very well. I was just playing this a second ago. It does play in the 720p uh, perfectly fine. Uh, I was just doing just Google searches and all that fun stuff. Uh, same. A, a lot of the commands are the same. I I, I know a lot of we're all used to using uh, the big ones. You know, especially Google Chrome now because we can uh, sign into the browser. Um, their emphasis, another emphasis that they have that Midori has, is um, they're big on personal security. And the one thing that they'll see, I mean, you can obviously do this with any other web browser, is their uh, their default search engine is DuckDuckGo, which doesn't um, save any of your search history, which is nice. Um, yeah, so it's extremely simple. Um, the layout is much, much, much easier on the eyes than it used to be. It used to be a little bit cluttered. And um, like I said, it's very easy to use. Uh, it's more for Windows than anything else, um, but it is supported by all those other, um, you know, low-key uh, operating systems. But I would definitely check out uh, Midori uh, if you don't actually, if if you want to use a web browser that you're not going to um, have to wait long, and that you don't sign into. Like for me personally, I sign into Google Chrome um, just because I like having all my bookmarks uh, being saved and all that good stuff. Um, but if you just want to have a, a browser on where you don't really want anything saved um, and you just want to surf the web, uh, you know, without being uh, tracked by Google and clearing all your results all the time and having it be super quick then I would highly highly recommend um, what you call I would highly recommend uh, Midori so um, I hope you guys enjoyed it this is just very quick I would really 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 um, suggest that if you do have Windows um, or some kind of Linux operating system uh, to check out Midori because it does support uh, it does support all of the latest uh, plugins and so plugins and codecs and all that good stuff so um, but that's really all I have today I'll put a link in the description and that's all I got thanks guys